Hi, this is uh, Francisco, Tango India 2, Lima X-Ray, and um, I'm making this uh, video for uh, the Antenna uh, Building Group in Facebook. Um, in regards to a um, post by Tim Miners, um, he wants to build a um, short dipole, and uh, I think this could be interesting for him. And uh, of course, I'm open to all kind of feedback you want to you wanna share. Um, I put together a piece of software that I'm going to show uh, shortly and it's based in uh, this idea of uh, dividing the, uh, the regular half wave uh, dipole in three sections. Each branch will have ABC, equal sections ABC, and then the idea is to replace the B section with a, with a coil to make the, um, the uh, antenna um, shorter, um, physically shorter, but electrically keep the the length of um, half wave, um, and in this way make it resonant. Um, sometimes even removing the B section is not enough to satisfy the uh, the property um, size available. So it is required to sacrifice a little bit of C. But what uh, you don't want to sacrifice never is the A section because that is a, a, a very important section for the uh, efficiency of the antenna and I'm not going to get into that but I'm going to provide the, uh, the link to the um, uh, reference document that I'm using um, so you can um, get deep in that. Um, so again this is a software that I wrote Unfortunately, I wrote it in Spanish because it was never, I mean, it was a kind of uh, personal thing. And, uh, but I think it could be interesting for, for, for some guys to, to see it. So I, 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 I'm going to share it. I'm going to post the link at the, uh, at the uh, comments and uh, I, I'm going to try to upload it to the, uh, um, I, I, I don't know if it's possible, if it's allowed to share in the um, Facebook uh, files. Uh, section of a group an exe file, but I'm gonna try if not I'm gonna share the link where you can download the software um, Anyway, so you go to menu right in this uh, software uh, You go to the uh, antennas and you go to the last option the polo corto that means short dipole and then you get here right and uh, essentially you have uh, a branch of a dipole showing the A section, the B section is missing because it's replaced by a, by a coil and then you have the C section, right? Then you need to specify the frequency in megahertz, that's the first, the first step. Um, I hope that you can clearly see, um, I'm not a kind of a specialist in making videos for YouTube, but um, I hope this can be seen properly. So the frequency is actually the frequ frequency is actually the frequency in megahertz. So let's say, for instance, you want to do um, 7.2 megahertz um, dipole, and then the the diameter of the coil coil diameter 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 of the alambre. So let's say I'm gonna use um, 3 mm right diameter. And then uh, altura sobre el suelo in meters is um, height above ground. Let's say I'm going to use seven, seven meters. And uh, so this is the property space that you have available to build this antenna. Let's say the maximum um, property length that you can use is, um, let's say, um, 10 meters, right? And then you click with only that information, the frequency, the diameter of the co the, of the uh, uh, the diameter of the of the wire that you're going to use to build the antenna, and the uh, height above ground, and the uh, maximum or permitted uh, length for your antenna. You click uh, side, uh, I mean side to side, right? Not no edge to edge, not 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 only one branch. So you click calculate. And then you get this information. This is all the calculations. You can select it, you can copy, and then you can go to um, Google Translator in your case, right? Because it is in Spanish, as I mentioned. So you get all the data. Just one notice about this is that um, the translation of this 
media longitud de onda, this thing here, media longitud de onda, is translated as average wavelength. That is wrong. This is half wavelength in air. Half wave wavelength, not average. It's half. Uh, is is the, 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 the in Spanish is okay, but the translation is not okay. So just just be aware that if you see this, it's not because it's wrong. It's because the translation is not correct. So then, um, uh, so twenty point eighty three is half wavelength in air, right? Uh, seven point two megahertz, seven meters, the height above ground. The the cable that I'm going to use, the wire, is going to be uh, 3 mm diameter. Uh, maximum length allowed is uh, 10 meters in your property. And then here is the program makes a recommendation. So the program say, well, uh, you should use 13.98 uh, microhenries with section A in this size and section C this size, just replacing the section B. But because you don't have 13 um, uh, meters, but you have 10 meters, then th this is your 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 settings, right? So 44.64 um, micro Henry's, uh, the section A with 3.47 meter, and section C 1.53 meters. Now, one important thing is this note. This is a start point. Right, that means that you need to start shortening the the, the, the ends of the antenna so you can get it uh, in resonance at the lowest uh, uh, um, BSWR, right? Uh, um, and then um, because there is no compensation for that in the calculations, it's not considering the the five percent less or nothing. So you have to, and, and this is this is done on purpose. So you can you can start cutting uh, and and find the uh, the the the, uh, the resonance right. Now one thing is that um, because of that, perhaps you want to try with this length and start uh, cutting, and perhaps at the end you will get something. Uh, close to 10 meters that is your maximum but you can start right here and then and then do the antenna and, and see how it looks so w with with only this information you can start and you will be able to to resonate the antenna and you will be able to um, uh, run uh, in that frequency one thing to keep in mind is that what the coil is replacing is the B section right the center that's why um, in in uh, team where in, uh, at least at the uh, drawing that team shows at at um, the Facebook group was showing the coil at the feed point or close to the feed point. In reality, that is not something we want because this section here, the A section, again is something um, very important to keep clear. So just replacing replace the uh, the uh, the uh, the coil at the center section with the B section and then perhaps something uh, sacrifice the C section to 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 make it resonant um, or to satisfy the your your property um, size right anyway the good thing about this calculation about this um, um, proposal is that um, in internet you can find several uh, antennas that you can build but um, this this particular case is is starting in your property what is the uh, maximum space that you have to um, to run this antenna and then and then starting in there you you get the calculation of the coil and and the size of the a and c to uh, build the antenna now w one thing important to notice is that when you are shortening an antenna a dipole antenna you, because you know that uh, um, a half wave antenna is uh, about 73 uh, ohms if you start shortening the antenna then the um, the impedance uh, is gonna is gonna decrease right at resonance so that means that um, everything has a, a price a, a price or a cost right um, if you if you want to reduce your antenna you're you're also getting a smaller um, uh, impedance at the feed point when it's resonant 
because remember that an antenna is resonant not when it's 50 ohms. An antenna is resonant when there is no uh, um, um, an inductive or, or capacitive uh, uh, reactance or, or any any. Um, um, so you have only the uh, um, uh, the real part of the impedance existing, and the uh, the, uh, the 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 reactive part is zero, right? So that could be uh, 20 ohms, or could be 30 ohms, or could be 50 ohms, or could be 60 ohms, but not necessarily an antenna is resonant when when you have 50 ohms. It's just just a, just one case. So it's resonant when when the uh, reactive part is zero, right? So in this case, when you short an antenna, when you are trying to short short uh, 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 an antenna, when you're trying to 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 get it short, it, it, you will decrease the the impedance as well, and 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 that that is not something that uh, could be bad, but um, uh, without any coupling system or without any any uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, perhaps you need to use a balloon that uh, translate uh, uh, the do any any kind of from tr tr transformation or perhaps you need to use a a, a tuner an antenna tuner right um, to get it to 50 ohms because perhaps you cannot with shortening the antenna um, you you cannot uh, uh, um, get exactly 50 ohms so you your 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 um, uh, bswr is going to be uh, not 1.0 right anyway so, uh, how do I know that this thing works, right? Um, I'm going to try, it, this is not something you, you need to do, I mean, I, I did this, with only this information you can start your, your test, right? But let me try something um, that I did, this is, uh, I, I put um, some uh, uh, a model together to show the antenna, right? So you can see here that this is this is the antenna, right? This is the uh, the A section, the A section, and this is here. This here is the the C section, right? C section. So, and, and you can see that this little uh, red cross here and here is not X. I mean, the X is here. This this uh, uh, X red red X here is representing the coil so I'm adding a coil of uh, 44.64 uh, micro Henry's to show uh, um, um, if, if this antenna works right so with with this this antenna should be I mean if this is zero if this point here is zero right so that means that this point here at the end should be five because if, if this is 5, this point here is 5, then point uh, end to end the antenna will be 10 meters, right? So, but let's see here that the end point is going to be 4.5, not 10, right? Because I start shortening the antenna to, to get it to resonance, right? Then if I evaluate at 7 uh, meters above ground, uh, at 7.2 megahertz and I start this is gonna give me about 18 18 ohms right you see 18 ohms right and then if I do a, a, a plot and I do the EPS, uh, uh, SWR and I seek for uh, resonance right and I click detail I can see that is exactly a 7.2 uh, 7.2 it's resonating uh, exactly at uh, 7.2 um, megahertz. That exa is exactly what I was looking for. But why the minimum uh, uh, SWR is 2.5? Because my impedance is 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 18.9, right? Not not 50. So that means that I may need to use here. Uh, I may I may need to use here uh, perhaps a, a, a balloon, right? Uh, 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 that translate, uh, uh, for instance, uh, 18 uh, by 4, so that's going to be 72, that is perfectly uh, a nice match for, for a dipole, so instead of 2.6 I will have 1.0, right? Now, 
um, so this this uh, shows that that essentially works um, the efficiency is there is a sacrifice in the efficiency but it's not it's not that much so it's, it's enough it's, it's enough to work of course always if you can run a full half wave dipole go for that but if you cannot then you can try to use uh, some tools like uh, this one here to to try to use um, uh, a dipole that fits your property and that um, allows you to work that particular band now keep in mind that this is in spanish um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you I'm gonna make a, an English version, but um, that will take me some time. So I'm gonna rewrite this this program, and I'm gonna make it uh, um, in in uh, multilingual. But now it's it's gonna be only in 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 Spanish. Frequency diameter of the wire, uh, height above ground, and uh, what is your space to build this thing, right? And uh, keep in mind also that if you build this antenna, this is this is supposed. I mean, it's supposed to be uh, horizontal. But if you if you make this antenna in an inverted V, that will give you a higher impedance as well. Uh, let me check. It's going to be a lower impedance actually. Um, yeah. But anyway, so try play with that. Uh, you can give me the feedback. Uh, um, this is just uh, uh, an example. To, to to for the group for this question that Tim was asking in the um, antenna building Facebook group. Now um, there is a there are more things you can do with this with this uh, software. You can calculate a, a halfway dipole. You can you can adjust uh, a dipole antenna. Right, a couple of things here that you can do with this thing. Um, how can I adjust an dipole antenna? For instance, if I if I if I run an antenna, right? a dipole and I find that is resonating at this frequency or at this one and uh, and I want it at this one so this this program will tell me how much I need to increase or decrease the the wires to get it resonant for this one instead of cutting and cutting and cutting so it give me a good uh, approximate of uh, right and then um, several things right uh, this is uh, another uh, option to create make an antenna dual band with a resonator uh, just a wire close to the dipole and that helps to increase the, the resonance but anyway um, a lot of things that cannot be covered here but um, just uh, this one is interesting as well this is a way to calculate um, uh, this is very useful when you are doing when you are developing a, designing a, a gamma match because this will let you Create, calculate, design the uh, the the condenser, the, the capacitor that is used in the gamma match. But anyway, uh, for now, think about uh, short dipole. That's the the target, and uh, I'm gonna do an English version of this software so you can um, use everything. Uh, thank you very much. Again, this is Francisco, TI2LX.